and welcome everyone and in today's video I'm going to be uh, filming my September wrap up. Uh, first of all I want to apologise for getting this up so late. Um, unfortunately, especially over September, I just haven't been doing very well mentally. Um, I was going well for a while and then I've just gone um, a bit downhill quite recently so I've been dealing with that. And yeah, I just haven't really had a lot of energy. I've been so stressed, you know, I started a new job so I have been super exhausted all the time um, at the moment. I'm really tired today, but yeah, I, I hope you guys don't mind. I've fallen behind on a lot of things like my journaling, my editing, my filming. I'm sorry, I, I really apologize. I feel so guilty because I, I love booktube. It's not by booktube that's causing the problem. It's not at all, it's just, a lot of life stuff's going on at the moment that's causing all the stress so it's not booktube related or anything i i feel like i'm slowly very slowly on the mend it's it's still a lot of life stuff's going on but i'm trying to catch back up and not put so much pressure on myself but yeah um filming videos always makes me feel better because obviously i'm talking about something i love and that's books and reading um, so anyway, I participated in the Magical Readathon um, that's hosted by G over at Book Rose. Obviously, you had to fill in some prompts. Um, you guys would have seen some of my reading vlogs. I'm slowly editing the last one. It's getting there. I promise you guys will see the week four one eventually. I managed to read three books over uh, the month of September. So one of those was Blood and Honey by Shelby Mahurin. Um, so this one I didn't actually read the entirety of it, but I did finish it in September over the readathon. Honestly, I gave this a two stars. It just wasn't it. Suffered from middle book syndrome. I felt like these characters were completely different to what we got in Serpent and Dove. I don't know. I just feel like Shelby Mahurin rewrit all these characters and just threw away the ones in the first book and was like, Pfft we don't know them let's go with these ones and i didn't like these ones very much i was not about these characters like the reason i love serpent and dove so much was for the banter and how funny lou was I just felt like that didn't happen you know i get that obviously what they're dealing with in this book i totally get that their lives are on the line but it just i still would have liked more banter i felt like that the friendships were incredibly strange and i liked like i like the found family trope and i don't like it when it gets strained i get that sometimes obviously friends argue friends fight yeah i just felt like shelby mahurin just put it in to kind of add in a little bit more drama into the book and i don't really think it needed it that's how i felt and there was a certain character death that happened in here i wasn't sad about it at all it kind of happened and i was like okay like zero emotion when it happened because I just didn't feel an emotional connection to these characters anymore because I just felt like that they were completely different characters to what we got in Serpent and Dove. So yeah, I did not like Blood and Honey at all. I will pick up the third one because I'm honestly like this far in, I may as well just finish it. Yeah, so I will pick up uh, Gods and Monsters, which is the third one in the series. I'll just continue on, see what happens in that one. but. Blood and Honey was a major miss for me and I'm super disappointed about that. Okay, um, and then I read Mirage by Samaya Dowd. This one is a three stars for me. Again, this one I honestly thought I was going to love and it just didn't. <laughs> I just didn't like it. The main character I couldn't vibe with very much. I mean, I appreciated her strength about what she was going through in this novel. Her strength was like some girl boss energy and we love that. But at the same time, there were some aspects in here that I wasn't comfortable with. Um, I did talk about it in one of my weekly reading vlogs. But again, I will talk about it here in case you have no interest in watching those. So what I will do is I will leave a bit of text that says spoilers. And then once that leaves, you're fine. I can't talk about this without explaining why it was uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I have to spoil a little bit. So spoilers are starting now. Anyway, so what happens is if you haven't watched my weekly reading vlog, or if you're watching both of these, thank you, I appreciate you. So the main character and one of the side characters' partner, they get together. Um, meanwhile, the male love interest, so the side character's partner, is engaged at the time to one of the side characters. And the main character is aware that he's engaged and still continues on in a relationship, a romantic relationship. If it was a friendship, it'd be fine. But it's a romantic relationship that they just continue on basically throughout the entire novel. And I'm like, no, that's cheating. I'm not okay with that. Like, first of all, mate, you're engaged. Like, we're not about that. Second of all, she knew she was engaged. And whilst, yes, the relationship 
between the male love interest and the side character was a political one, so there wasn't actually that love there, it doesn't matter. They're still engaged. They're still in a relationship. It doesn't matter whether it's in, you know, a romance, whether it's for love, politics, it doesn't matter to me. Like, to me, it doesn't matter. It's still cheating. I wasn't comfortable with that. It made me feel very icky the entire way through. So spoilers have stopped now. <laughs> um, so yeah, unfortunately, I just didn't connect with any of the characters really. Um, I feel like that this book was a bit all over the place in regards to pacing. Some parts were fast, some parts were slow. And there were some parts where I was like, can we just get on with it? And it was kind of, I was expecting something a little different to what I got. Like I went in and then kind of went out of it and was like, oh, okay, like that's what we got. It's not what I was expecting from this novel, but yeah, so that's my thoughts on Mirage. I won't be continuing on with the, I think it's a duology, but I just, can't bring myself to continue on with the duology. I don't care what happens next. I don't really care about any of these characters. So yeah, I won't be continuing on with this. Um, then I read um, Ghost of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, and Robin Wesserman. Um, and I gave this a four and a half stars. I really like this one, finally. One that was above like a three stars. Um, so yeah, this is uh, basically just a bunch of Shadowhunter novellas following Brother Zachariah from The Infernal Devices. Um, I love this. This was so good. I just, Brother Zachariah is one of my favourite characters. If you've read The Infernal Devices, then you know who Brother Zachariah is. Um, but yeah, Brother Zachariah is one of my favourite characters. I adore Brother Zachariah, so I just loved following him on his travels. I felt like all the novellas, you know, obviously there were some that I enjoyed more than others, obviously, being novellas. Um, but they did all have their merits. Maybe the last one definitely could have been cut down a little bit. There were parts in the last one that I was like, I just don't care. I, d I don't care. I just want this certain scenes between the certain characters. I don't care what happens to anyone else. So that's why I gave it a four and a half stars. But I loved following other characters that we haven't, that, well, I personally haven't seen. I haven't read all of the Shadowhunter Chronicles yet. Um, that I personally haven't seen, like Anna Lightwood. We follow Anna Lightwood in here. We get more domestic um, you know, Alec and Magnus, which we love. I really like seeing that. And it was just a lot of following Brother Zachariah on his travels. It gave me all the feels. I felt so emotional, so happy, so sad. There were moments when I was like tearing up and I was like, this is so cute. So I really enjoyed this one and I'm so glad that I picked this one up next. So yeah, those are the three books that I read over September. Um, <laughs> I think I only read three because of Blood and Honey and Mirage. They kind of put me into a bit of a slump um, because they just weren't what I was expecting and I was kind of disappointed and I was like, what happens if the next book I pick up is really disappointing? Um, and on top of that, Ghost of the Shadow Market is a really long book. So yeah, <laughs> um, I think that's why I only read three books, but I'm still proud of myself. Three books is still three books. It's fine. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you have read the Shadowhunter Chronicles. Doesn't matter which ones you've read. If you've read all of them, if you've read one book, let me know what is your favourite character from the Shadowhunter Chronicles down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!